Uh uh. Sure. Feel a shout. He just hijacked our own show. What's happening? Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this. I got this. As you can see behind me, we just got out of the Spider-Man demo here. The cinematic quality of it was absolutely amazing. I like all the quick time moments during the action scenes. We have to like make decisions kind of on the fly. I think it's going to be a really, really, really good game. It might give, I'll go as far as say, it might give Arkham City a run for its money. What do you think? I don't know about the Arkham uh, comparison there, but I will say that I think this was an incredibly strong showing. Insomniac Games is behind it. They are the ones who did Sunset Overdrive and among other things, but we know that they know how to do uh, fluid movement through a world environment. So clearly this is looking like it's gonna be the end all be all when it comes to Spider-Man games. And listen, if you have a 4K TV, it is going to oh be absolutely beautiful. I mean, I was so, I felt like I was in New York. It was a live demo. That was a playable game. Cause he accidentally hit the, the PlayStation controller button in it and we, it came up and he messed up on one of the movement parts. So I saw that this was a real game. So that was the most encouraging part was it wasn't smoke and mirrors, it's just that damn pretty. I love the fact that every time he would attack a, 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 and a bad guy, he never did the same move twice, really. Yeah. Like, all of Spider-Man's moves were so different, which makes me wonder, how many moves does he have? Like, you feel like you're Spider-Man. Well, and on that note, I guess it does have that Arkham quality to it, because everybody steals from that combat system, and there's a reason. It's an amazing combat engine, and you see it a lot with Spider-Man, but he's a lot more mobile, I think, than Batman was, flying around the place. I loved how much he was using the environment yes. to mess with his uh, opponents. What I want to know is, because there's a lot of quick time events in it, there's going to be a quick time event, Spider-Man hanging from the ceiling, making out with people. That's uh, That was over. That was one and done. But I'm so ready. Okay, final thought. Are we going to give this a, a one up or a game over? This might be my game, Michelle. That's and I am really strict on that stuff. I, I'm really excited by this. Oh, this is for sure a one-up. I will definitely be getting this day one, and I don't get games day one a lot, so for me to say that, it means something. I mean, I know we've only seen the one demo, but there's no way the rest of the game is just gonna be utter trash exactly. after seeing this. I mean, my God, the detail is, is mind-blowing. Insomniac, good on you. Welcome back to PlayStation, because this game looks phenomenal. This actually got a standing ovation. Ratchet, what is up? No. Up, Ratchet! Oh, fist bump it. Fist bump it. Ra oh. Ratchet and Clank is not just our drag names. It's actually who we are. Look who we actually found. We found another, another Nancy. No, we found another Nancy. I love your shirt. What, have you seen a lot of other gamers here tonight? With the why? Because we got to be clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few of them. And what are you most excited to see? Um, Spider-Man. Absolutely. We just came out of Spider-Man. And Kray well, we, we were just talking about Kratos too. So aside from Spider-Man, because that seems to be the hot topic, what else are you kind of looking forward to, haven't tried yet, or most impressed about from the show? I just finished Destiny 2. That was a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward towards uh, Days Gone as well. All right, well, thank you for dropping by. I know you're busy, yeah. but we found another one. We had to, we had to bring him in. <laughs> So we just got done playing Dragon Ball Z, Fighter Z, and um, Evan, what happened? Chase got the holy sugar beat out of him. <laughs> what happened? You're not a fighter, are you? I, I'm, a, I'm a lover. Are you? First of all, the demo only has about six players. It has Goku, Vegeta, uh, Gohan, Cell, Majin Buu, and Frieza. But I'm sure once the actual game comes out, they are going to have a huge lineup. I don't think they announced yet what kind of lineup it's going to have, but I imagine it's going to be big. The colors are so vibrant. You actually feel like you're watching the show in HD. I'm glad that they went back to the 2D fighting as opposed to the traditional ones where it's 3D and you're flying all around the universe. This one, you feel like it's much more action-packed. It's fast. It's slick. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I cannot wait for it to come out, I cannot wait for it to come out! This is one of the things during the, actual, the Microsoft press conference when they announced it. I have a video of him literally jaw floor. I particularly love it as well, although got my ass handed to me. With this particular game you choose three fighters, and then you go through a match and try to kick the other person's ass. Keyword B try. Evan was Goku the entire time because I didn't even eliminate one of his characters. I feel like you've played this before and I know you haven't, which is what pisses me off. I'm not gonna lie. I, oh, I cannot wait. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This is a one up when that comes out. Yeah, what about you? 
I would say that it's not a game for me, but it is a one-up. I love the cartoon style of it, of course, so I'm, I'm glad that it exists. Will I be getting it? No, because it's not my kind of game, but I know that this is going to be a uh, something that will be in your library for a while. Absolutely. And if you like more of this, just follow us at Wild Presents, follow us on social media, Chase Colosi, at Evan Michael Lee, and we will see you next time. Boo! <laughs>